In today's video, I'm going to give you five easy and simple sideline inbounds plays that you could run with your basketball team. If you're a basketball coach, make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out basketball offense down in the description below if you want an easy offense to run with your team as well. So this first play is a line inbounds play and generally you're going to be running sideline inbounds plays only when the other team is really actually pressing you. So what we're going to have is player one, he's going to be cutting towards the net that you're trying to score on. Player three is going to be cutting up away from the net that you're trying to score on. And then after those players move, you're going to then have player four set a screen for player five, who will then be cutting towards the sideline. You would generally want to set this up about five roughly feet away from the inbound player or the sideline itself so that these players will have room to of course run. Remember player 5 should not be leaving his spot until player 4 gets set so that there is no fouls called on the screen. An inexperienced team will usually set up their defense like this so player three would normally be the one who is open off of this split and then of course if he's not, we would then have player four setting a screen on player five's man so that player five can get himself open. If the team is experienced and they say, okay, and they talk to each other and player one and three in this case would be talking to each other saying, okay, this is my man, this is your man. If player three goes this way, instead of you chasing, I'll take him. And then if my man goes your way, then you take him. If that's the case, and let's say player one goes this way, player three goes this way, they obviously switch their men. At this time, player four is going to be setting that screen and player five would then be cutting to the rim. Player five is going to be needing to be extremely physical to get position and post up on player five, four. That's why I'm sending player five and not a point guard because I like having physicality if player four is switching and not allowing player five to get that ball. If that's the case, then player five needs to be big, physical, and post up. And player four, after setting that screen, just needs to find an open area of the court to run to to be an, another option. Remember, you don't have much time to pass the ball in. This is another line inbound, but we're kind of set up differently than we were before. We're actually parallel to the sideline instead of not being parallel with the sideline. So how we like to run this, or how I like to run this one, is have these guys 10, 12 feet away from the sideline. It's going to give you space. Player four and one cross, very similar to a press break. And then when they cross, player three is going to be running out, and player five is going to be running out. This leaves the whole middle open so that after they cross, if none of these four players are open, you can then have... Player 3 posting up down low. You can maybe be able to send a lob pass over top of player 3 if his man is front facing. If his man is behind him, then you can just pass it to player 3. And that would be our number one option if there is a player, if nobody was open. So let's set this up again. You'll most likely have the defense running in front like this. And if we're about 10 feet away, 10, 12, 15 feet, somewhere in that range away, we'll have player four cross, player one cross. If they're covered, we want the ball to kind of go to them first. Player five and three are going to be cutting out. And now, if nobody is open, we're going to be really paying attention to player five. The reason being is if his man is in front, as we see here, then we can lob that pass over, try to aim past his body so that he can finish with that reverse layup or if his man is playing in behind him then you just need to have player one clear out of the way player four clear and then pass the ball into player five set up the offense or let player five go to town on his defender now i run what i call the s plays along the baseline you can also run these along the sideline as well and they're a simple play it run it incorporates an elevator screen but you're gonna have one line in line of the ball and then a second line of two players away from the ball wherever this line sets up it doesn't matter if you set up away from the net you're scoring on then you're gonna be having a scoring option if you guys mess up and line up on the opposite side it's you're just gonna be setting up the offense and what we're gonna be doing is the exact same either way so we're gonna have let's say player two notices okay this is Kyle this is Rob then 
Player four, let's say, is Kyle. He would say S Kyle. Kyle would then go through the elevator screen. These guys would then close in. And player four should be open. If he's not, player three is also going to be cutting to the rim. We can send that lob. And then after this is set, we would then have player five pop back. Player one try to get open towards this side. And we can send lobs. But player four, most likely 90% of the time, will be open. You can also run this the opposite way as well. So you could say, you can call this something totally different. This is not a play that I've ran with one of my teams, but it does work extremely well. I've seen coaches run this before. And some of the coaches that I've mentored have run this before as well. And player three, let's say is Rob, we call sideline Rob or sideline S Rob or whatever you want to call it. And player three will then run towards the ball. These two players will then close. After they close, so player three goes through, they close. If player three is not open, we will then have player five cut down towards the corner. Player one pop up and player four, of course, pop up this way. This way we can get that lob. Player four is not going to be open most of the time. Player three is going to be open probably 70 to 80% of the time. Player five will be open if he's fast enough to get open. And then our last option, which will probably be one or 2% of the time, will be player one popping to half court. Now, something that we used to run when I was a player is the exact same box, simple box inbounds that I run with younger teams or lesser experienced teams, which I call usually box one or box up or box backs uh, or uh, box back screen, which is setting up a box. It doesn't matter how far away they are, but generally 10 to 15 feet away. And they're going to set screens up away from the ball. Player four is going to be cutting down. Player one is going to be cutting down. Hopefully one of those two players are open. If they are not, player three is going to be popping to the corner. Player five is going to be running to the rim. Player two can then either pass to player three or five if four or one are not open. Simple plays for younger teams are more preferred because, of course, it just lets you get that ball in bounds. I hope that this video has helped you win more games. Make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out offense down in the description below if you're looking for an easy offense to run with your team. And I'll see you guys again next time.